how much power is porting your supercharger really worth? Check out the results on this M90 run on a 5.3 liter LS. Hello everybody, I'm Rich Holder and welcome to the channel. Today I'm at West Tech Performance, which can only mean one thing, we're doing some dyno testing. That's right, today we're gonna to answer the following question. Does M90 porting actually work? You know, when you port the blower, get it to flow more, does it add any more power? Well, we ran our M90 on our 5.3 liter, then sent it off to the guys at Joker's Performance, they did some porting, then we put it back on and ran it again. The question is, does porting really help? Well, let's find out. Whoa! Okay, we're gonna try to make it so that the damper stays on. I'm running the stock truck damper right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this first and we're gonna drill holes in it. We're gonna put a pin in it, tighten it down with an ARP bolt and see if that'll stay in place. Then later on, what I wanna do is switch out to the bigger and better <laughs> ATI damper and that will be secured again with a different style pin, but that'll stay in place. The belt won't come off, the pulley won't come off. It'll be a lot better. Let's do it. Okay, we'll install this. Get our socket. Put our drill in. Drill a hole, put our pin in. And we'll be all set. We'll snug that in place. Now we're ready to drill. We selected our drill size, goes into that hole, matches the pin that's going in, so this slides right in. Drill, baby, drill! Now we'll measure, make sure our depth is okay. See our pin in place there. It's like a glove. Put our bolt back on. We're all set. Crank that baby all the way up. Okay guys, you can see we have our L33, the aluminum 5.3 liter up on the dyno once again, and once again we have the M90 supercharger, this time in ported form. The last time we ran this, we ran the M90 in semi-ported form. I just did some stuff to the entry to try to make it better, but not professional porting like this one that we got from the guys at Jokers. So what do you guys think? Last time we made like 615 with the Super Richie semi-ported entry and a bigger throttle body. How much power will it make now that we have it ported?
We swapped out the dyno headers for these inch and seven eighths long tubes. We tried running the headers with collector extensions and mufflers. We even tried running a full radius air horn air entry with no throttle pop. Wait, how did we do that? Check this out. Okay guys, let's jump right in on the results of our M90, our ported M90 supercharger test on our 5.3 liter. And you can see right now what I have is the naturally aspirated combination. I showed you a video of us running the NA motor with the Holly High Ram and the motor was configured. It was a L33 with the BTR stage four LS3 camshaft. It had the ported trick flow heads on it and it had a Holly High Ram. The reason that we ran the Holly High Ram, it makes a little more power with the BTR Trinity intake manifold, but we ran the high ram because that one we could put the supercharger right on top of that with the tick intercooler, the air to water intercooler, and then put the M90 on it in modified form. And then we could run it directly with that manifold. So we'd have the same manifold. So it worked out really good. But this thing made 540, almost 550 horsepower NA, and then made over 600 when we ran the blower previously, the way that I had modified the inlet of the blower. We had it configured with the factory six rib truck lower crank pulley and a 2.6 inch blower pulley. So we were spinning the blower fairly fast. And a lot of guys are going to point to, well, yeah, you put it on a good, uh, a, a really powerful NA motor. That's cheating. Well, it's not really. It's actually genius. And because it, does, it takes nothing away from the supercharger, the supercharger still has to spin fast enough and supply enough airflow to, in this case, make more power than the NA motor did. But it does it in two ways. It benefits this situation in two ways. And that is that if we have a really powerful NA combination, it lowers the boost at any given blower speed. And that's beneficial. It's beneficial because if we lower the boost, we increase the airflow because it's easier for the blower to process air with less pressure on the other side of it, restricting it from flow. So the blower at the same speed flows more air at a lower boost pressure. So it makes more power also, <laughs> If the boost pressure is lower, the charge temperature is lower, you have more oxygen molecules, everything about it is better. So if you really want to get the most out of a supercharger, having it run with a very, very effective naturally aspirated motor is a good way to do it. And that's exactly what we did on this M90 test. And so we ran this thing NA and it made about made 540 something horsepower, 545 horsepower and 428 foot pounds of torque and after we put the m90 supercharger on there in the slightly super richie modified version i just the guys at acufab milled out the entry and we put a um, three and a half inch inlet on it and we ran it with 105 millimeter throttle body we even tried as you saw in the video we tried running it with a, a full radius air horn and a four inch tubing and, and radius air horn but it didn't add any power so the restriction isn't there but once we added the supercharger in our last test, it produced 615 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 547 foot pounds of torque. You can see it was near 550 for a long ways. But what we then did is take that supercharger, send it to the guys at uh, Jokers, and they did their port, the real porting on it, not, not like what I did. But they did real porting on the entry of the rotors and then on the exit of the rotors. And here's what happened after we put the blower back on in the same configuration, same motor. I even ran it again NA to make sure that it duplicated the power that it was making because this thing has more than 500 pulls on it and it started out as a wrecking yard motor. But here's what happened when we put the ported blower on it, and you can see we were able to, we, we are actually able to spin a, a little bit higher. If you look at the previous runs, we only gained a, about one horsepower going from 
6,500 to 6,600, that tells me it was getting close to the limit of the power output. But in this case, the power kept climbing. So it climbed this time from 615 with our last thing to the ported version, all the way up to 652 horsepower. Peak torque didn't change dramatically. 550 foot-pounds, 549.7. So it was up just a little bit. But you could see it's interesting that this ported blower seemed to lose low speed power. And I even tried a couple of different header configurations to see if that was it, because we were running the, originally we were running the dyno headers, but that wasn't it. We tried running the other inch and seven eighths, the collector extensions, the mufflers, all of that stuff. For some reason, the, this ported blower seemed to lose a little bit of response down low and then trade it for more response up top. I don't know if that's typical, having never run ported uh, M90s in the past, but, 650 horsepower from an M90 supercharger. I have to be happy with that. I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.